YouTubers, welcome back to AZ to Ozarks. We did get a bit more snow last night, so it's not covering everywhere. Our gravel driveway seemed to make it melt, but there's quite a good dusting in other areas. And I came out to check on the goats, and it looks like they drank all their water, so I'm just going to bring them a warm bucket of water to fill up their dish out here before we get them going. I need two hands to work this gate. <laughs> All right. Looks like everybody did fine through the night in here, nice and cozy in the trailer. So I'll see if I can give you a better look of the goats right now. All right. Good morning, goats. Good morning. Just here to bring you some water. Can't wait to get to know these guys a little bit better. They seem a little timid of me, but that little black baby has little white hooves or white fur around his hooves. He's adorable. You guys will have to stay tuned for cute baby goat videos because they are surely forthcoming. The little baby goats are so small that we're worried they may fit through the fencing. So um, the kids are coming through with the rabbit paneling and affixing it in here just to make sure all around the base that the little goats won't be able to get out. All right, let's unload the goats into their new pen here. Here comes mama. And Billy. Come on. Hey. Come on. Sorry, that's Austin Powers. Not up there. She's following the little baby. Oh, that little guy. Ah. Come on. Everybody's in now. Oh, Now that we have the correct tool for stretching the fence, we have gone ahead and done that. And now is just the tedious task of hooking all of these, um, I don't know, brackets, I guess they're called, onto each fence post. And um, there are six that go on each fence post. And it uses this handy little tool here. And so that times six for each post for the whole field. <laughs> it's going to take some time, but this stretch over here is going to be electric fence. But once we get to that corner there, it's all of this goat paneling. So we've definitely got our work cut out for us. Good thing that it is Monday and everything's back open because these two are definitely escape artists and <laughs> they get out of that fence no problem. So we got another roll of wire and we're going to finish wrapping around. They stress their mom out every time they come out, but they sure enough go back in. But we've got to finish up this gate so they don't have to keep sleeping in the trailer at night. Here Keegan's gonna try and put a collar on the billy. We thought if we put a collar on him and a lead, we can start letting him out into that area to clear some of the vines and stuff um, and also give the mama a break because he's, he's pretty eager to get after her. Look at these babies. They are wild. Go in there with your mommy. There are some plans that work and some plans that don't. And so this corner we had um, with the cross bracing of the T posts did not work. So once we had pulled the tension on it and released it, then it caused the T post to twist and it pulled out the last T post at the end down there. So it was just too much for those to handle. So now we are upgrading to metal posts for the corner posts. So we're using um, the auger to drill the holes and then we are setting the steel posts in and they will be set with concrete. And so that's uh, concrete will mix by hand 
and pour into the holes to set these posts and that'll give us a really strong corner for the fencing. These guys are so helpful with the fencing in here. <laughs> it's hard to get anything done with them. They keep jumping up on my back thinking I'm part of their jungle gym. And then this guy, every time I turn my back on him, he, uh, I don't know if he wants to ram me or what, but I can't really turn my back on him. I have a feeling we're going to have to come to an understanding. I don't know. We'll see. Who <laughs> put these guys? My helpers. All right, we've got a little bit of progress to report here on the cattle pasture. So the guys got all of these holes dug yesterday and they got them set into concrete. So they had to mix each bag of concrete in the wheelbarrow. And then this morning they were set up. So I went into town and rented a gas powered welder so we wouldn't have to drag a generator all over the place. And Rick got the bracing all cut to size here in the middle between the pipes, between the posts. I probably have the wording all wrong of everything. And then Rick was welding the caps on to them and welding the cross bracing. And so we've got a lot of progress here for the cattle pasture fencing. And now it will be much nicer with the correct tools to um, tighten up the fence onto these sturdy posts and be able to get all that fencing up on there now. But we are approaching our sunset now, so probably not much more going to get done for today. This is what the posts look like before the cross braces are put on in the caps and they're not all the same height. So he uses a saw to cut those off at the same height as well. So there's quite a bit of work involved in doing these corners in order to make sure that we have a strong fence. Well, I think I've gotten as much done as I can for today on this fence and so these little dudes are going to have to sleep in the trailer again with their mama and that's okay. Um, so <laughs> they like to nibble on my coat a little bit. Um, yeah, so just making some progress on the fence here and working on getting the goat pen ready. We'll still have to make a covering for the babies and, um, and well, really for all of them, they all have to have a covering to keep them out of the rain and the wind. Um, we have been leaving Austin Powers out here at night and putting mom and the babies in the trailer. And um, that seems to have been working while we don't have any rain right now. I'm going to wrap this video here just because it's been a couple days since I've given you an update on um, anything here at the homestead. And uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates in the future.